Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about some questions based on properties of determinants that we have discussed in our previous lectures. Okay, so I am writing down the question number one here, which is prove that a two a 3a a plus b a plus b plus c 3a plus 2b 6a plus 3b so this is the determinant given to us and we need to prove this value is equals to a q. So student, if you directly expand this determinant, then you will get this value, but to directly expand this determinant, it will be very difficult for us. Okay, so we will use our properties, which we have discussed so far, to find out the value of this determinant. So as I am seeing here student, this value is almost double of first row so i will apply the operation r2 goes to r2 minus 2r1 and simultaneously i will apply the operation on r3 where r3 goes to minus 3r1 r3 minus 3r okay so what we left with this determinant is equals to first row will remains the same because there is no change on first row a plus b plus c so 2a minus 2 times a it becomes 0 3a plus 2b minus 2a minus 2b we are left with a only then we are left with 2a plus b only here okay so similarly in this we are left with 7a plus 3b okay so now again i will apply one more operation which is r3 goes to r3 minus 3 times r2 okay so this element will also become 0 a plus b a plus b plus c 0 a 2a plus b this is already 0 this becomes 0 so this becomes a only okay this is 0 now 0 okay so now we can expand the determinant along row number 4 so what we are getting is these are two zeros now this is minus 1 raised to power 3 plus 3 and what is the determinant that we are left with is a a plus b 0 and a okay so this is positive a and this is a square so the value is coming out to be a cube which we need to prove students so i hope now you guys know what properties we can use here to find out the value of the determinant very easily and if we go along with the simple uh, way to finding out the value of the determinant simply by expanding along any row then it will become very very difficult for us okay so that is why properties comes okay now let's discuss one more question students so students here is question number two in which we are given delta is equals to this and we need to find out the delta means the determinant value okay so how to proceed with these type of question we will use some properties here okay so what i will do here is i will apply an operation on r2 where r2 goes r2 minus r1 Okay, so this element will become 0 then and same operation on r3 r3 goes to r3 minus r1 so what we are left with delta is 1 a b c no change to row number 1 0 b minus a c a minus b c okay so this is also 0 this becomes c minus a and this becomes a b minus b c okay now we can expand along column number one 
okay so simply expanding delta will become 1 into minus 1 to power 1 plus 1 okay so this is b minus a into a b minus b c minus c minus a into c a minus b c okay so this is one this uh, when we solve will become i can take b from common here this is b minus a into a minus c now it is if i take the positive sign here a minus c and if i take c common a minus b so it is again negative now it is b minus a b minus a common a minus c common but we are left with b minus c so this is the value of the determinant that we need to find out okay so students simply i have used here means i have subtracted one row from another row so that the determinant value doesn't change okay so i hope students now you are pretty clear about the questions based on properties of the determinants and if you are still facing any doubt or any question then please do let me know in the comment section thank you happy learning